Hello, my name is Cody Woody, and I serve as the Director of Legislative and Congressional Relations for Orange County Public Schools, and this is the FAFSA Advocacy Newsletter. Monday began the first Legislative Committee Week. During the House and the Senate Appropriations Committee meetings, both committees were given a presentation of the long-range financial outlook from the Office of Economic and Demographic Research. The House Education Committee also met this week. The committee was given a brief overview of last session's legislation and implementation process from the Office of Early Learning. The presentation included an overview of the School Readiness Program, the VPK Education Program, and an implementation of HB 1027, which requires the Office of Early Learning to develop early learning professional development training and course standards for school readiness program providers. Also, the House Pre-K-12 Appropriations Subcommittee met this week. The subcommittee was given a presentation by the Florida Department of Education. The Department of Education presented their FY 2020-2021 legislative budget request. Some of the highlights from the budget request was a $50 increase in the BSA, which most districts use for teacher raises, $1.4 million increase in safe schools, and sustained current funding in the best and brightest, which is $284.5 million. This does not include the governor's budget recommendations, which is set to be given to the state legislature in December. Finally, the Senate Education Committee met this week. The committee was given an update on K-12 school safety and security issues. Some of the highlights from the presentation were requesting $100 million in mental health assistance, which would be a $25 million increase from last year, an update on Florida school safety portal and data privacy, and the statewide assessment training, which a total of 88 participants became certified trainers. These newly certified trainers are now able to train their school-based threat assessment teams. That's all, folks. For more news, stay tuned to the FAFSA Advocacy Newsletter. And oh, before I forget, congratulations to Orange County Public Schools for celebrating their 150th anniversary as a public school district. Go Orange!